For animal lover Sass Jordan, spending time with four-legged fans is one of the best ways for her to spend her day. So she was pretty happy to spend today at the Edmonton Humane Society. They take the most incredible care of the critters here. It's unbelievable. And these days, Sass prefers to take roads that lead to good things, like raising money for charities. Do you like to sort of be like, wow, I'm going to be singing and helping a cause. Does that make you feel better? That's what I'm all about. <laughs> In the 80s and 90s, Sass Jordan was all about hit songs. She had over a dozen reach the top 40. I think you're an absolute bona fide. And in the 2000s, Sass was one of the judges on Canadian Idol. Today, though, she's a believer in using her singing talents to help others. The difference, I think, in my career now is that it's more about community, people, uh, rather than just me and, you know, trying to get the next hit. I'm not gonna, there's no hits coming out of this chick at this point, I'm just saying. But she's still a hit with fans and other rock fans. Last summer, Foo Fighters asked me up. The next week it was Sticks, and the week after that was Cheap Trick. I'm like, yeah, Canada's queen of rock. But Sass says when it comes to her work rocking out for charities, there's no need to give her a pat on the back. The more you give, the more you get. So basically, I'm probably pretty selfish in the end. <laughs>